All right, folks, today we're going to be restringing an electric guitar. Uh, this particular one is a Fender Stratocaster, one of the more popular ones. Um, so first step is get all the old strings off it. Um, now with a Stratocaster style guitar, um, the holes of the bridge don't always line up with the, uh, the tremolo cover here. So if it does, like this one does, what I like to do is do one string at a time so it doesn't shift out of place. If it's not lined up, the easiest thing to do is just take out the six screws and put it back on after you're done restringing. So for right now, we'll do one string at a time. All right, so we're just loosening the string. You don't want to cut it with full tension because you could hurt yourself with the guitar. So just loosen it up. Then you can take your handy wire clippers and just give it a clip. Remove the old string. Okay, so we've gotten the old string out. Now we're going to put the new string in. So um, on the back here, you just feed it through the appropriate, you know, place which string you're doing and just feed it through the front. And the string should go directly through the middle of the saddle up, just like that. You'll feel the ball of the string catch as you uh, get it all the way in there. The string through the back of the guitar, through the middle of the saddle, um, this is the middle of the saddle. You'll see the hole there, it comes right through the middle, and it goes over the top of the, uh, the saddle here. Alright, so now we're going to line up the holes of our tuning machine. Um, you pretty much want to line them up straight, maybe a little bit diagonal to the left. Um, so now we're just going to feed our string straight through. The most useful tools you can have for restringing guitar is your string winder. You know, you can imagine if you have to turn it by hand, it's just going to take forever, you know, it's just a pain. So the string winder basically makes your life easy. So, the string is through. Um, when it's pulled tight all the way, you can't wind because there's too much tension. So the string will either break or it can be bad on the neck of your guitar. Um, so what you want to do is give it exactly one fret worth of slack before you start winding the string. So again, I'll grab the string with... Um, and the string winder in my left hand because I'm going to be winding with my left so I'm going to use my right hand I like to use my thumb and my middle finger to pull it back because then I can um, use my first finger to kind of angle the string down as it's winding which makes it helpful um, one note you don't want to rest your fingernails against the wood of the guitar because it will you know make little scratch marks and ding marks so try to hold it up just a little bit okay so pulling it tight grab it right in front of the nut one fret right about there say so usually I hold it up like that just hold it tight. It's going to try to slip through your fingers. If it slips a little bit, that's okay, but don't let go. And now we're going to wind forward. So the nice thing about a Stratocaster style guitar is there are six inline tuners, so you wind forward for all of them. On an, a different kind of guitar where there's three on each side, you have to wind forward on this side and backwards on the other. So this is a little bit easier. Okay, so now we're going to wind forward. And you want the this part of the string to over the top of the other part of the string. So hold it tight. Say so It's going to try to slip, but just there. Don't worry about the string flapping around, you can cut it afterwards. So you notice how it's wrapping nice and neatly underneath itself. And so you'll feel the string tension come down, so what you don't want to do is keep going and do it too much because you could break it. So once it's on there, you know, you can always tune it afterwards. Just get it on and then you can retune. So that step is complete. Now we're going to cut the excess string with the wire clippers. Now you can cut as close as you want to this, but really make sure you don't hit this part of the string because that could be a nightmare. So right about there. And what we have is a nice neat wrap. There's no excess string where you're going to poke your finger or, you know, a loop. It's all messy looking, so. All right, so we have all six new strings on there. Um, so now we come to the point where you have to stretch the strings and tune. Now, if you just were to tune up the guitar to pitch and not stretch the strings, what's going to happen is they're going to just constantly go out of tune for a few days and you're going to get aggravated and... Uh, it won't stay. So if you do the, um, the two different stretching methods two times the way I show you, typically it stays pretty well in tune right away. So first thing you want to do is tune it up to pitch. So you can either use your handy electronic tuner, or if you have a good ear, you can just tune to a you know, pitch from a piano or another guitar. <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to stretch the strings two different ways. The first thing I'll do is grab each one and just tug it up and down. You don't have to let go because you'll slap the frets, which isn't good. So just tug it a few times each. 
And then the second thing I do is stretch the strings um, this way. So grab the lower ones, usually with two fingers, just give them a good stretch sideways. And the higher ones I bend up. Then you retune the guitar to pitch again. And repeat those two steps one more time. Pitch one last time. We should have a somewhat in tune guitar, hopefully.